Hello, in this video we will show you how to perform a self-service migration of on-premises workloads to a VMware Cloud Director service using VMware Cloud Director availability. Let's start with the deployment. It's a standard process of deploying an OVA file at the tenant's vCenter where we have to choose the correct file, give the virtual machine a meaningful name and select the compute resources, storage and network. To complete the deployment wizard, we need to provide some parameters required by the VMware Cloud Director Availability on-premises appliance, such as root password, NTP server, hostname, IP address, gateway, DNS server and domain. With that, the deployment is done and we can power on the VMware Cloud Director Availability appliance. Next, we need to pair the on-premises site to the provider site hosted at VMware Cloud on AWS. It is done in a few simple steps through the initial setup wizard. After the first login to the appliance, we should change the root password that we set during the deployment. After that, we can start the wizard. At the first step, we enter the local lookup service address, SSO admin username and password. This is required for registering the VMware Cloud Director Availability vSphere plugin. Then we give the site a meaningful name and description. The last thing to do is to provide the endpoint address of the provider site and your org admin credentials, all given to you by the provider. By selecting the allow access from cloud option, you allow the cloud provider and the org admins without authenticating to the on-premises site to discover on-premises workloads and replicate them to the cloud. By leaving this option deselected, only users authenticated to the on-premises VMware Cloud Director Availability Tenant Portal can configure new replications. We can skip the configuration of the local placement of virtual machines as this is required for the cases when there will be cloud to on-premises replications. As a result, your site is successfully paired to the provider site hosted at VMware Cloud at AWS. You can verify that by visiting System Health menu. Configure and perform a migration we have two options, to use the VMware Cloud Director Availability Tenant Portal or the vSphere plugin registered during the initial setup. Both are exactly the same in terms of steps and the tenants can use the one that is more convenient to them. In this case, we will use the VMware Cloud Director Availability Tenant Portal. To start, we click on Outgoing Migrations. Then we click on New Migration. First, we need to authenticate with the ORC admin credentials given to us by the provider. They are the same that we use during the pairing process. Next, we select one or many VMs that will be migrated and specify the VDC and storage policy to be used at the destination site. We can delay the initial synchronization so it can happen outside of working hours or during a maintenance window, for example. By clicking Finish, our migration is now configured. A synchronization job is started and it will transfer the VM to the provider site. We can monitor the state of the job in real time. Once finished with the initial sync, there are some additional actions that we can perform before migrating the workload to the cloud. We can modify the network settings of the VM for cases when they need to be different at the destination site. We can easily do that from the network settings menu. Here, we can select the network that we want the VM to be connected to, enter its new IP address, reset its MAC and change its computer name. To run the migration, we need to select the workload and click Migrate. Then, we specify whether we want to power on the VM at the destination site, which network settings to use and whether to consolidate the VM disks, which will give better performance of the recovered VM at the expense of the migration task taking longer time to complete. At the summary screen, we can see the exact flow of actions that will be executed. Then, by clicking Finish, we start the migration job. We can monitor its state and health in real time and find some details about the destination as well. When it completes, its state is changed to failed over, the migrated VM is available in VMware Cloud Director service and is powered on. The source VM is powered off at the on-premises site. 
This is how easy it is to migrate your workloads to VMware Cloud Director service. Thanks for watching.